Nicole Scudder from Mobile Geeks, and here I have the Yota phone. So this is actually a dual display handset. It's 140 grams, it's super light. It's running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 with two gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 2,500 milliampere battery, which is really excellent. So this is an e-paper display on the back, 960 by 540, and on the front here, we have full 1080p AMOLED display. So there are quite a few interesting features between this handset. It's that, well, this is a prototype, so you see that we have the black and white uh, options over here. So we do wallpaper, organizer, you can do you know, your internet hub. So actually, we, have, we do have a hands-on uh, kind of demoing all of these with the product managers. I have in the hands of mine uh, the very, very first prototype of the next generation. It's not the uh, kind of a final materials, etc., but the overall appearance is uh, pretty much final. We have an Android KitKat here, five inch uh, full HD display. But the main feature here is definitely our always-on display, which now with the second generation is receiving full touch experience. Uh, so actually you can uh, now browse your, oh, maybe calendar is a good example. So browse your uh, Facebook line here on the back display and uh, read it. So uh, get it, get into a particular one, like it, for example, or uh, maybe dislike it. <laughs> and after back to the back to the main line, and then after back to the home screen, where you have, for example, dashboard with the very useful information about stock exchange if you are or currency exchange if you are really very much uh, uh, about financial information. So actually, this is main feature and. Uh, and then we can, can show you how reading works, uh, actually browsing of reading works. Uh, now it's much more intuitive, much more comfortable and uh, much more natural. This full touch experience of the back screen now delivering opportunity to, uh, expect it to be a, an opportunity to answer calls, send call, make calls, accept and answer emails and SMS, tweets, etc. So, if you really would love to deal with the kind of a functional information like text, data, etc., you will not need to turn on the the color display, which consumes a lot of energy. But when you really would love to get in touch with the multimedia content or the full HD display with the video and the games, etc., it's always ready to help you.